Welcome to our training how to remove FBA inventory from a fulfillment center. You can use removal orders in Seller Central to get your items back from a fulfillment center or have Amazon dispose of them for you. In this video, we'll show you how to submit a removal order whether your inventory is fulfillable, unfulfillable, or subject to an aged inventory surcharge, also known as a long-term storage fee. Fulfillable inventory refers to sellable items. Unfulfillable inventory refers to items that can't be sold because Amazon determined they're unsuitable. A few examples of why an item might be unsuitable are it's defective or damaged. It doesn't include the required labels. You haven't registered the labels properly with Amazon before shipping the item, or the labels don't match the product. It doesn't comply with Amazon's terms and conditions or is prohibited by fulfillment by Amazon or FBA. Or Amazon determined that it's unsellable or otherwise unsuitable to store in our fulfillment center or send to a customer. Whether fulfillable or unfulfillable, you can create removal orders for your inventory from the FBA inventory page. To get there, open the Seller Central main menu hover over Inventory and click FBA Inventory. You'll use this page to review your unfulfillable, aged, and excess inventory. You can also reference an estimated number of units that'll be subject to an aged inventory surcharge on your next charge date if you don't receive an order for that product. Any inventory that's been in a fulfillment center for more than 365 days will incur fees. On this page, you can reference the column for the estimated long-term storage fee, also known as the Aged Inventory Surcharge, or you can use the Recommended Removal Report, which lets you know which items are subject to these fees up to 30 days before each charge date. To access the report, open the Seller Central main menu, hover over Reports, and select Fulfillment. Scroll down the Amazon Fulfillment Reports page and select Recommended Removal in the Removal section. When you're ready to create a removal order for a product, locate a product via one of two methods. You can either use the FBA Inventory Pages filtering options, or you can click a column's title to sort it in ascending or descending order. When your inventory isn't sellable, we'll change its status to unfulfillable and send you a notification. To avoid having Amazon dispose of your inventory, create a removal order for these units within 30 days of receiving the required removal notice. To create a removal order for a single product, locate the product, select the drop-down menu in the Products Actions column, and choose Create Removal Order. If you'd like to remove multiple products from Amazon Fulfillment Centers, select the checkbox next to each product and choose Create Removal Order in the Bulk Action drop-down menu. Or, if you have more than 10 and less than 1,000 products to remove, select Create Removal Order with Template File in the top right corner of the page. This option provides you with a spreadsheet for bulk removal. Whether you choose to create an individual removal order or several orders in bulk, you'll arrive at the Create Removal Order page. Use the Choose Method of Removal section to let us know what you'd like for us to do with your FBA inventory. You can reference descriptions for each of these options by clicking Learn More. Your monthly and aged inventory fees will stop accruing for the items in your removal order. For each removal method, you can either provide a removal order ID or let us automatically generate one for you by leaving the field blank. To complete your removal order, use the Product Details section to enter the number of fulfillable and unfulfillable units you'd like to remove from our fulfillment centers. Note that you can reference the number of fulfillable and unfulfillable units for each product on the FBA inventory page. If you enter a number under either column and a note appears that a certain quantity of the product isn't available for removal, click the text for more information. If you selected more than one product to remove, enter the number of fulfillable and unfulfillable units you'd like to remove for each one. You can also add items to the list by using the Search and Add Items text box. 
As you make your selections, keep in mind that you won't be able to choose a specific fulfillment center you'd like Amazon to return or dispose of products from. This also means that you may receive returned products in batches, which won't impact your fees. Once you've completed each section, select Review to confirm your entries and submit the removal order. It's important to note that you'll need to remove your unfulfillable inventory from fulfillment centers. The same is true for stranded inventory, which refers to any items that don't have an active offer and aren't available for purchase by customers. We'll notify you if you have inventory that falls within either of these categories. To avoid disposal of your inventory, create a removal order for the unfulfillable or stranded items within 30 days of receiving the notice. Amazon will automatically remove stranded inventory if it meets one of two conditions. It's been in a fulfillment center for longer than 365 days, or it's been in a fulfillment center for longer than 180 days, but units of the product haven't sold in six or more consecutive months. Months. If you provide a return address via our automated removal system, we'll return your inventory by default. If you don't provide one, you can choose to liquidate your eligible inventory. Otherwise, Amazon will donate, recycle, or dispose of the stranded items. Select Long-Term Storage Fee Automated Removal if applicable on the FBA Inventory page to enter a valid return address. You also have the option to either reactivate your stranded inventory within 30 days or let us know if you need more time. In certain cases, you may want to confirm the status of your removal order or cancel it. You can do both on the Removal Order Detail page. To get there, return to the Amazon Fulfillment Reports page and select Removal Order Detail in the Removals section. Click the Generate Report button and click the Removal Order ID you'd like to remove or cancel. Note that you can only cancel removal orders that still have a planning status. Any required removals created by Amazon can't be canceled. After you select an order ID, review the overall status of your removal order and the status of individual offers within the order. To cancel the removal order, select Cancel. Note that if you make a mistake on an existing removal order, you'll need to cancel and resubmit the removal request. Fulfillment centers typically process non-liquidation removal orders within 10 to 14 business days. During the holiday season or other busy periods, removal order processing can take up to 30 days or more. Fulfillment centers typically process liquidation removal orders in 30 to 60 days or more. After a carrier has picked up your removed inventory, allow at least 14 days for the carrier to contact you or for the recipient you chose to arrange delivery. If the carrier can't arrange delivery, Amazon will contact you to help resolve the issue. Note that fulfillable items in your removal request will remain viable until you've removed them from your inventory. You'll receive the removal charge once Amazon has shipped or disposed of your inventory. To review removal transactions and fees, open the Seller Central main menu, hover over Reports, and select Payments. From the Payments dashboard, click the Transaction View tab. Select Other from the Transaction Type drop-down menu and click Update. Now you have the tools to remove your inventory from an Amazon Fulfillment Center. Thank you and happy selling in the Amazon store!